Hello everybody. So today is March 16th of 2014 and um, today is the first day of my pre-op liquid diet and so far this has not been that bad. Um, I, I pretty much binge ate yesterday. Um, I had a very enormous lunch with some really good friends um, enjoying the foods that I enjoy currently before my surgery and um, I had a blast enjoyed spending time with friends and you know just just to get out and you know to, to see you know friends before I go out of town and do the surgery and and stay on liquids for a long time okay um, so I, I want to kind of give the people who are fixing to start their pre-op diet and, you know, or thinking about having the surgery, I want to kind of talk to you here today, um, because in my mind, I had done the, um, 60 day juicing detoxes before where you take your fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, put them in a juicer and um make juice out of them and that is really great do not get me wrong i love juicing it is very very natural very very healthy there's no chemicals products anything like that added to your juice um, i will continue juicing for the rest of my life okay um just not detox juicing and as you're probably going to see through a lot of this video, I'm very exhausted. Um, that's the biggest part of this for me today um, is I had a bridal show that I was a vendor at. And um, a, a lot of that is, you know, I'm tired because I've been on my feet all day. But um, I'm also tired because I'm not eating. And, um, even though I did eat a, a good bit yesterday, um, I can feel my body, you know, really wanting to just take a nap and go to sleep. Um, food has always given me my energy and now I'm going to have to find a way to get that energy without food. Um, I did get, um, I picked something up yesterday and... Uh, sorry, I know my room is a mess. I do apologize. This is actually my office, guys. Um, my office is always wrecked, so just don't don't judge me. I'm, I'm a fat woman. I'm lazy. Y'all should know this. Okay, so a friend of mine who had the surgery back in October here in the States, um, his start weight was actually a pound under mine. He was 366, and he's currently down to 238 as of yesterday so I'm very excited to see you know where I will be in that short amount of time but he told me because I'm not a water drinker I can't stand the taste of water um, and they don't really want you to drink packets of crystal light because it is a mostly sugar um, so these they do not want you to have okay um, because there's too much sugar in it um, however um, my friend Ben, who is the one who had the surgery, um, his surgeon recommended that he get the drops and not the crystal light drops or the Kool-Aid drops, but actually Dasani makes a drop that I didn't even know they made these, okay? Um, and so I just went on a search and found them. Ironically, I found mine at the gas station, but this is what it looks like. Um, it comes in a little container. Um, and I hope you guys can see this, okay? But it's Dasani Drops. It's a flavor enhancer. And they have several different flavors. I just chose because I'm not real fond of um, berry anything. So I went with the pink lemonade. And I'm a girly girl, so anything in the color pink, I, I'll fall in love with it, okay? Um, and this is 
you know, you, you squirt a few drops in a bottle of water. Unfortunately, I didn't think to make a full bottle before I started this. So this is only what I've got left in this bottle. Um, but you just squirt it in and, you know, you're, it's going to take a couple times to figure out the, the strength you really want yours. Um, I did make the mistake and squirt a couple extra times the other day. Um, I, I will give you the heads up. Like, you see how pink this is now? When you first squirt it in there, it's not going to be this pink. So you're going to think you need more. And um, I recommend, you know, squirt like three drops, shake it. And then if it's still not, you know, the right strength, add some more. But the color, don't go off of the color, okay? Um, you will have a really, really strong, potent drink. Um, but I, I've done the Dasani drops all day today in water. Um, have not really felt like, you know, I was drinking water, even though I was, and that's a good thing because my mom, my mind and my body do not like me drinking water. I will get extremely nauseated on water. Um, and so that, that has really helped, um, especially being on my feet all day. Um, primarily, you know, today is day one for the liquid pre-op diet. So, I, I can't really tell you what day 5 or day 10 is going to be yet. Um, and I will definitely post, you know, keep you posted and, and update again um, before surgery, before I leave out. And I told you, I, I do apologize, I'm exhausted, but I did want to definitely get this video done for you guys. Um, it, it's it's going to be a struggle. It, it really is. You know, there was food. Um catered in at this bridal show I did today and they had you know barbecued meatballs and barbecued pulled pork and you know um shrimp etouffee and rice pilaf and you know then the desserts oh my god you're at a bridal show so there's wedding cakes everywhere there's cake pops cupcakes che mini cheesecake bites you name it it was there um right at my fingertips could I have easily snuck a plate yes um the great thing about it, though, is a lot of my friends are wedding vendors in the area that I'm in. And they know that I'm supposed to be on this pre-op diet. So, they, you know, they really help me, you know, just keep my mind off of it. And that's, that's going to be the main thing. Is as long as I'm not thinking about food, then I won't want it. And, you know, if you don't want it, you don't have to fight your, your mind to... to to make yourself not eat it. Um, and I will tell you, I am from the South, so a, a fat woman loves some barbecue, um, especially when she's from the South. And so that was really hard for me. Um, I really did just want to grab a plate and just, you know, devour down. Um, but I didn't. And that's what I need to do. So nine more days. And then on a plane we go, and then 10 more days before we actually do the surgery. And it, it seems like all of this has happened really fast. Um, in a way it has, uh, compared to what most people wait, going through consultations and different doctor visits. This is all, um, this has all happened within, you know, a month's time. And... Um, the closer I get, you know, I don't get, I'm, I'm still not getting nervous or anything like that. Um, I'm sure it's going to set in when, you know, it's time for me to really finish packing, you know, the last minute items and, and zip that suitcase and know that the next morning I'm getting on a plane. Um, but right now I'm still calm. I'm still collected and I'm, I'm ready to do this. Um, I did get my passport. Yeah, I'll show you. It's hideous. It's going to be the last fat photo of me on any official document, so I'm excited. Ah, I can't see. Can you see me? Okay, yeah, fat photo. Um, awful, awful. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm excited. Unfortunately, that passport is for 10 years, so hopefully I will still be skinny in 10 years when I need a new passport so that I can get a new photo. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to end this video pretty quick because, as you can tell, I'm definitely due for a nap, a really long one. Um, 
and I will post again in nine days, um, which is going to be the day before I leave. And so we will go from there. And I hope this video kind of helps you know, you know, you are definitely going to be tired. And it's, it's going to be a struggle. But if I can do this, anybody can do this. Because I love food. And food is my comfort. Um, so... You guys stay strong, and I will see y'all in a few days, okay?